guys, welcome back on my channel. Um, I'm really glad you returned to watch my second video of the Crazy Craft channel hosted by Pam from the Paper Outpost and Louisa Heinze, Junk Channel Art. I'm very glad that I can do this challenge and this is the second video. Um, this is also the second video for this part for me. As you can tell when you see my fingers, you can tell that I already did um, the German version of this video. I'm sorry if my words are lacking now, but I spoke so much German now for the video. I almost have no English words left. <laughs> okay, but let's give it a try. The, the challenge is about um, crafting three journaling cards and you are not allowed to take any tool for bringing up color onto your cards. So I have to wave goodbye to my distressing brushes. I have to wave goodbye to all of my brushes for, for paint and coloring. And I have to wave goodbye to my spatula. Um, I, I'm not allowed to use any of these tools, but I am um, asked to use a digital from Pam or from Louise. So I decided to take two pieces of digital. One is from Pam from Paper Outpost. I don't know the name of this digital set now, but I will link in the info box below. And this page is from Louise Heinzer's set. It is called Milky Flower Set and I will link that below too. So this will be the front side <coughs> sorry, of my three journaling cards. I will make one big card, I think, and two smaller ones from this piece. And this will be the back side of the journaling card. So the first step I'm going to do is to cut these pieces out and glue them on this back side here. And I will do that right now so we don't lose any time here. I hope that this challenge will be fun for you. Next step is to glue the cards onto the back side. So the back is very evenly uh, colored, I think, so it is not that important in which place they will be glued here. I take my glue stick for that. We are allowed to take a brush for applying glue, but um, I take the glue stick for that. So glue them down. Glue it down, glue it down, glue it down. Yeah, I glue it down. Just glue it down. And as always, I hope you can understand me. My English is not too bad. Oh, it's empty. My glue stick is empty. Yeah, my glue stick is empty. That's the last. That's the last. <laughs> now I've got the last gluing action for this stick. Okay, I'm going to throw it away. And take another one. Okay, so bye bye glue stick. Okay, I'm going to cut these now. So now we have these cards. I'm going to cut that down in the middle. So we have here this a leaf and here a, a leaf. So cut without thinking. Cut without thinking, Gudrun. Cut without thinking. Okay, so we have one big card. Oh, there are some mm, wrinkles. Oh, I did some wrinkles in here. That's not so good, but it ah, doesn't matter. It's junk. I think it's junk journaling, huh? What's that here? Junk journaling or what? Okay, so we have these front sides. I think they are very nice. And the back is already prepared for writing. Oh, that's not so good. I don't like that, the wrinkles, but I cannot do anything now. Okay, so let's think about what to do now. I think I'm going to put some white gesso 
on the front or not <laughs> or not <laughs> but uh, white gesso is is a good thing or not <laughs> white gesso is a good thing should I put it here no I think I should put it on the front side I put some white gesso on the front side okay so here I will put down some white gesso this is left over from the German video it's also white gesso so okay I'm I take my fingers now once again to put the white gesso onto my card. I start with this one. Just rub it over the card so that the colors are not that um, bright here on, on this side of the card. This element down below can be a bit darker but not that dark. I think that's good enough for this card. That's okay. So leave it to dry. And the next one, I think I want to put the white gesso here at the edge. So leave it to dry. And the next one, so uh, where should I put the gesso on this card? I think here in this area and below here in this area. I hope that's a good decision. Looks, uh, looks like fog. <laughs> it looks like fog in the corner. <laughs> but maybe, yeah, <laughs> it's a burning wood somewhere. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Oh, it's okay. That's okay for me. Do I need some white gesso on this side? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. It's it's good enough as it is. Okay, so put that away and go to the next step. I want to have some drips or uh, stains or splatters. I want to have some splatters of uh, coffee, coffee splatter. Yeah, I'm going to do a bit splattering on both sides, I think. Okay, first the front side, I put everything together here in the middle. Can you see everything? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so now this is the coffee. I'm not allowed to take a brush. I'm allowed to take my fingers. Okay, so let's split the coffee with the fingers. It's very difficult to do that in a controlled way. Oh, it's not a controlled way. <laughs> I'm lying. <laughs> you cannot control it. <laughs> you cannot control it. It splatters everywhere, but not in this place, you, you would like to have it. <laughs> oh my god. I put my finger on. Okay, I think that's enough. It's enough splatter with coffee. I'm going to dry that now. Look at my fingers. Oh, nice. Yeah, very nice. Okay, so let's dry it. Okay, I think that's fine. Um, I want to do some more splatters with um, a light colored metallic tempera uh, color. So I'm going to put some in here. It's a bit thick, I think. It's not possible to throw it on the paper, just not like the coffee. But I'm going to mix it up with some water with my finger, I think. Because it is color, I'm not allowed to mix it up with anything else, I, I think so. I, I'm not allowed to use a paintbrush here. So I try to mix it up with my fingers. Oh, ah, it's very squishy. I don't know if that works. I hope so. It's a bit... Ah, it separates. Ah, the color separates from the water, I think. Just have a look here. Can you see that? Can you see that? Can you see that? It looks not so good, I think. Looks a bit strange. Ah, it's coming now. No, it's better. It's better now. Yeah, it's it's better now. Okay. But it's very thick. Very, very thick. I don't know if that... I need more water. I need more water. Okay. I think that's better now. So, but... How am I going to put that on the page? Am I, is it possible to just drip it down from the finger? No. <laughs> oh my god, it's not. It's very, very thick. It makes very big 
puddles of color. I'm going to... Oh, I don't know how... Poo, I don't know. I don't know if it's good. It is very strange here. It is something like winter. It's a winter look. Yeah, it's a very wintry look, but maybe it's too much color on the card. I don't know. It's very difficult to drip that. It's too thick, I think. It's, it's really too thick to do any good here. More water, more water. Oh, more water. <laughs> I need more water, but will it be better with more water? I don't know. I really don't know. Like, oh, I'll make some smaller drips on this. This one, yeah. It, yeah, I think it's a bit better with more water. So we have very much color on here. Maybe it's too much, I don't know. Oh, well, really, I don't know, but maybe there in the middle is too much. Okay, put it away, put it away. <laughs> I need to put it away on my fingers. Beautiful fingers. Isn't that a beautiful color? It's so beautiful. Yeah. Okay. So let's move on. Let's move on. We're going to do something with this color now. I don't know what. Maybe... I can I can take something off with my fingers. How about that? Let's try that. Just put the finger in here and try to get it away from the paper. Okay, that's not so bad, I think. That's not so bad. Okay, I think that's better. I'm going to let that dry now. Oh, there, there is very much color on this piece. Very, very much. Very thick puddles here. Ooh, very, very thick puddles. The smaller ones are not the problem, I think. The bigger ones. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's not so bad. That's not so bad. No, it's okay. That's okay. So I'm going to try to save this one here. No, it's not that bad. I'm going to dry it now. I'm going to dry it. So keep your ears shut. So I watched in the video uh, from Pam that she really painted flowers with watercolors with her fingers. I, so I am not able to do that. I can only splatter with my fingers or rub my fingers over the edges or something like that. Um, or stamp my fingerprints like I was in the police station. Um, I cannot paint, but I cannot paint flowers even with, with a brush. So. I th think uh, that's a great, um, oh my god, what's the word? I don't know the word. I lost it and somewhere in my brain is the word, but I, poo, ability, that's it. <laughs> it's a great ability to do that, to paint flowers with the fingers <laughs> or with a brush. So I splattered on mine. Okay. That's good enough. I think I splattered some coffee on the back side. <laughs> As we talk about splattering, I'm doing some more splattering now. Okay. Some more splattering now. Okay. Can you see everything? I think so. Okay. So where's the coffee? Here's the coffee. So let's do some, some more splattering or should we print with our fingers? Some fingerprints on here. That would be nice too. What do you think? Maybe it's okay to do fingerprints. Ah. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but looks kind of cool. <laughs> looks kind of cool. Huh? Let's do some fingerprints like that. Not so bad. I don't know what that is, but it's cool. So let's do some more. Maybe these are the flowers <laughs> on the side. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. I like that. OK, 
Okay, so should we have some more splatters? Maybe. Maybe yes, maybe no. Yes, I think so. Some, some more splatters. <laughs> no, that's not applause for myself. It's only splattering coffee. <laughs> I don't know how to do that otherwise. Without a brush. Oh, my hands. Oh my gosh. My table. <laughs> my table is full of coffee. My hands are full of coffee. And everything is sticky and uh, oh, yeah, not so nice. Okay, so now I want to put some. Mm, now let's try that first. Let's try that first. Okay, so now I want to. Um, want to glue some scrap pieces of paper onto my work here, but I don't know if I should glue it on the front side or on the back side. I'm not sure at the moment. I want to glue on the front side some um, some signs, some tickets with uh, with letters on them. So I have some letters here. Nice like this Z and I think that would be nice if I glue it on a piece of scrap book page here and, and then glue it down on the card on the front side I think it would be better on the front side so but I want to have some more color on it and I think I have to distress the edges of the book page with a blue color, I think, with a blue one, but not a light blue one from from the splattering, but um, a darker blue one like this, or even darker, even more dark. But this one, deep blue, I don't know, deep blue, would it be better deep to use deep blue or this middle blue? What do you think? Should we try both? Yes, we should try both. Let's do it. Put some of this middle glue, uh, middle glue, middle blue here in here. Put that away. And this is the deep blue. Oh, it's squishier. Okay, it's more flowing, fluent. No, what what is the right word for that? I don't know. Uh, I want to distress the scrap piece of paper with the blue. I'm going to use this blue for that. It's a, it's a middle blue with metallic. It will look nice, I hope. I hope so. I hope it will look good. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe it's too much blue. <laughs> it's too blue. Oh my gosh, it's too blue. Let's smear it away. Ah, too, too much blue. Too much blue. Okay, I think that's better. <laughs> Not so much blue. Let's glue. No, 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 no. Not glue. I want to. Um, I want to give the letter a coppery touch on the edges. So let's use the copper paint and use the finger again to give it a coppery touch on the edge. It's a bit transparent and this coppery, this copper color here is transparent. It's not solid, but I think it's okay to smudge it over the edges. I think that's okay. So, okay, we have this one. Now I'm going to glue I'm going to glue the this one down first. Come on, come out here, my little glue. Come out. I want to see you on the paper. I want to see you on the paper. Come out here. Oh, there's something in here. That's not so good. It's ooh, very smeary. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What a mess. What a mess. 
I'm gluing my fingers to the paper, I think. Because everything is so smeary now. So I'll put that down here, I glue it down here. I'm going to glue down this, this ladder. This is a set um, of letters and uh, numbers I created myself. You can download it in my coffee shop. I put the link down below in the info box. So if you're interested in these, you can have a look there. Okay, I think it's very blue now. Very blue. <laughs> We need some more grunge later on, but now the, now is blue time. Now is the blue time. I want to glue a um, piece of number here, maybe, or another. Hmm, what should I take now? An N, maybe an N, or, or U, <laughs> U, <laughs> or a number like that. What should I take now? A number or a number would be nice too, I think. Could be a number. Maybe two numbers. No, that's too much. Two numbers are too much. But I can put a number here. Or would it be better here? No. Here? Up or below? I think here is better. And we need some piece of paper to glue it on, on two. No, that's not so good. Okay, maybe that. We can take it like that and glue the number on here. That would be nice, I think. And we will smudge the edges with the deep blue this time. I don't know if it is better than the light blue or the middle blue. I don't know. I don't know. Unfortunately, I, um, I was outside the camera, I think. So, this... Oh, my! That, that's too much blue. That's too much blue. Let's smear it away, the blue. Too much blue. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. That was too much. Ooh. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I don't know if I can take that. I think it's too too much blue here. <sighs> what should I do now? I'll just glue it down. Just glue it down, put some white gesso over it, and everything will be fine, I think. Just glue it down. Glue it down, glue it down. Take some white gesso and uh, put it over the blue. Hope this helps. <laughs> I think that will help, yeah. It, that helps, yes, that helps. White gesso is the savior of everything. Okay, that's good. Yes, I like that. I like that. So now I'm going to glue down my number. No, not not yet. I want I want a light blue edge. Or do I want a copper edge? No, I want a copper edge. A copper edge, yes, a copper. Copper is better. So, so we are making here a copper edge with our fingers. I hope you can see everything. I know uh, sometimes I'm out of the camera area. I'm so sorry for that. I think that's quite nice. It's quite nice. It's quite nice. What do you think? That's not so bad. Now we have two cards prepared. Now there's a third one. We need a third one. So we are going to put. Oops, what's that? It's gluing on the paper here. I think we should glue that down like this. I forgot to distress the edges of the paper. Oh my gosh, I wanted to have some copper, some copper edges. Oh, I do that now, just before the gluing. <laughs> With the glue on the back side, oh, I do the distressing now. Oh, my fingers. 
so now I want a blue edge on this um, on this number I think or on this letter a blue edge I have to decide if I want a dark blue edge or a middle blue I think a middle blue edge will be nice okay maybe it's a bit blue but who asks it's okay it's absolutely okay to have a blue number on the card isn't it so I'm going to glue it down, it down here and I'm going to glue down this number here down below without even distressing it just gluing it down here so okay these are my numbers I think now we are going to to what uh, to what are we going um, this is always the front side I think we're going to distress the front side with um, with our woody this is the woody pencil so you can do everything with it and um, it writes on nearly every surface and you can smear it with water okay now I'm going to do that just a thin line around all the edges okay so now we are going to grunge everything here with water I need some water this is my water and I'm going to grunge, grunge the edges now I'm holding it a bit nearer to the camera so you can see what's happening here just make some water on my finger a little bit and then rubbing across the edge you see what's happening everything is getting darker here everything is getting grungy if you're allowed to take a brush for that you can um, define better in which direction the flow is going here I cannot do that now because I'm not allowed to, to use to use a brush but I think the result is anyway um, it is fine I like the result okay so now I'm going to dry everything once again so now the front side is dry again there's so much happening here on the front sides and I like the, the sparkling metallic effect I think they're beautiful yeah, you see the sparkling effect yeah I think so you see it okay these are the two smaller ones so now we need to do something to the back sides so let's flip them over and look what is on here what is going on here we need the John link space should be white and it's okay but I need I think we need to draw some lines on it so take a pencil I hope I can use a pencil but it is no brush so I believe I can use it and I want to take a ruler for that they're not evenly spaced but that doesn't matter okay I think that's nice that's kind of nice that's kind of cool So now I think that's fine and we need some color on the outside on the edges of these back side so I'm going to color the edges with um, I think uh, my gold metallic color yeah it's almost empty but it lasted very very long this color here I like it very much so let's start with this one let's put the finger in here like all the time well, once again I've got a golden finger how wonderful is that to have a golden finger gold finger <laughs> now I, I know what a gold finger is so let's rub it across now along the edges not across the edges but along the edges I like that maybe we can put some gold rub a bit gold on this stamped fingerprint flower here 
just a little bit so okay that's good I think I like that I hope you like it too oh I think I like that really it's it's really fun to do that so let's smear it a bit of these okay beautiful <laughs> I think it's beautiful yeah I like it really So leave it to dry and the last one just have a golden finger no two golden fingers now i have two golden fingers look at that yeah two golden fingers how great is that i like it i like it i like it i think i like it very much okay so now let's dry let's dry it oh Oh, my fingers, all oh, my fingers. Okay, so prepare your ears. Okay, so now look, we are done. My fingers are golden. Yeah, three fingers. No, four fingers are golden. The others are white and blue. Okay, nice, wonderful. All my fingers are golden, white, blue and black and everything like that. And I don't even use the distress ink which I wanted to. Should I use the distress ink for last step? Yeah, I should use it, I think. Let's use the distress ink for something good or not so good. Let's make some more fingerprints here. So, what do you think of my fingerprints, huh? Aren't they nice? Great fingerprints, do you see them? Mm, yeah, my fingerprints, okay. I hope they will dry on the gold color. I don't think so. I don't know. So let's do some more fingerprints on here. Yeah, my fingerprints. <laughs> Hello, police. <clears throat> Hello, police. Okay. So this is these cards are my own. The fingerprints prove it. The fingerprints prove it. So I have even a black finger, a gold, black, blue, and white fingers. I have to explain my colleagues on Monday what I have done at the weekend because I don't think that I can wash away these colors here. Okay, but what should I say? I uh, accepted the challenge. I was not tortured to do this challenge. Okay, so now we have three cards. These are the back sides. Hey, they do look beautiful all together, don't they? So, and we have the front sides. I turn them over, just turn them over. So this and this. Okay, these are the front sides. They look beautiful together. How, how great is that? That's really, really nice. I'm going to show you a bit nearer to the camera. So have a look. These are the number down below. It's blue and copper. And this is the page from pair down below so we have smudged edges with black woody pencil we have the blue splatters here on we have coffee splatters on we have uh, fingerprints and we have the colored the gold colored edge here which i have done with my fingers too i think this is beautiful this is the second one So have a look at this one. Um, back side. I think it's very beautiful. Uh, I hope you like it. I think I like it very much. Even w with the blue here, it, it's quite a bit too blue, but it's okay. Well, it's okay. So now I think my cat is coming. My cat is coming now. Okay, here's my cat. Okay, okay, this is the last card <laughs> I'm trying to show you before my cat is going to occupy my table. Um, so this is the last one, the front side. And this is this is the back side. I hope you like it. I like it very, very much. I think this is a good result for this challenge. I hope I can make a photo before my cat is coming. And I 
Hope you liked my video. I hope you will come back to my channel for the next video. So watch out for the next video in English. Bye!